start by telling us who you are and what you do. My name is Alan Kay, and lots of people would like to know what I do. And what are you carrying? Uh, let's see. This is a, an attribute of my 45th birthday. Minimum set of keys, that's the small set, not the large set. Pen, this is my version of a personal computer right now. Got a wallet, various credit cards, driver's license, various money. Uh, receipts that I'm supposed to give to my secretary and I haven't done. A few business cards and that's about it because most of my junk is carried in bags here. I travel more than 200,000 air miles a year and have been doing it for, for many years. I used to be a professional guitarist and about a year and a half ago I got re-interested in playing the guitar. I didn't have any time to practice so I thought, well, I wonder if I could practice on a plane. So I started looking for a small guitar. And what I found was this, which is called a Steinberger. Looks tiny, but it's all the business part of a guitar and nothing else, no headstock, regular scale length. One of the things that's conspicuously absent here is a computer. You don't seem to carry with you a lot of the things that most people carry, <laughs> such as the time, the, oh, right. the schedule, the address book. Yeah, actually I do have the time. One of the reasons I don't wear a wristwatch is that I don't want to gratuitously know what time it is. There are only a, a few times during the day when I actually want to know what time it is. and. See if I can find it here. One of the times is when I'm giving a talk. See, 9.06, that must be East Coast time. It's from my last trip. Um, but I use that when I give a talk. I put it down in front of me. It's time. In fact, as long as I'm here, I might as well drag this out. This is my talk folder, which has all my slides and notes from previous talks and stuff. And I take all my slide material along with me because I never am quite sure what I'm going to say. A couple of three-quarter inch tapes. And also on this trip, um, I'm going to be near some organs because I'm going to the East Coast. And there's a whole paraphernalia that has to do with playing organs. One of the things is that you play organs with special shoes. This is really a pain, believe me, to drag these things along for about two hours out of the whole trip. And for some reason, I've never figured out, organ music is large format stuff. It's partly because the music is written in three separate lines, and so you don't get a lot of bars to each page. So that's a bunch of junk to carry around. For me, the experience of playing music is doesn't have an enormous amount to do with how well I play it, but it has it has quite a bit to do with uh, feeling like a conduit. So I think this kinesthetic uh, mentality that we have is the one that orients us in space. It's the one that makes us feel at home. It's the one that we we if we have an arm or a leg removed from our body map. It's the one that we feel most lost, even much more than being blind, because we, our body is being taken out of the world. So I think that the connection with these, these objects that are part of our civilization that become extensions of our body is, some, is something that the way our brains cope with it is by making it seem like it is a part of our body. This bag is just various projects that I'm working on. This is an organ that's being built for my house. So I'm only carrying this along just to cherish it. <laughs> it's gonna happen within this, in this next year. Then I have a bunch of writing projects. I have things that I should be reading. I have a whole bunch of things having to do with schedules. 
just random stuff there. And then I have this sort of, it's kind of what women carry in their, their pocketbooks jammed into one little thing. I don't think I'm gonna take it apart, but it has, it has vitamin pills. It's got aspirin. It's got equal. Probably, it usually has uh, oatmeal. It has tea bags. And God knows what else is in here. Thing usually, what's different from pocketbooks is that it's transparent. Yeah, so you I, can see everything. In. Yeah, I did it. I did it that way on purpose because uh, I mean, one of the reasons I uh, my office is so messy is that. When I put things away in drawers, I forget about them. I like to have my visual field refreshed constantly about all the stuff that's around. I have discovered that memorizing where things go helps a lot. So you don't have to make all of these decisions. Most of the stuff here that we have out on the table is what I would call stress reduction stuff. So this little wad of stuff is sort of the, is sort of the official stuff that people are paying me for. But then all of the rest of this stuff is, is stuff that I use to feel like uh, I have a balanced day even when I'm doing unbalanced things. 